All right, let's see how fast this baby really is. We're going to do the Sun Spider test right now. And uh, the fastest we've seen this done on an ARM processor so far is around 900, uh, sorry, 9,000 milliseconds, sorry, 9 seconds, uh, which is the iPad and also the uh, AC100, the Tegra 2 device. This is running through it pretty fast. It runs through three times and then we should get uh, a result. Remember, Android 2.2 .2 is optimized for Cortex cores, uh, so you should get a much better result, maybe two to three times faster on this than on Android 2.1. Getting a feel for it already. <laughs> Running through for the last time, maybe even less, maybe five seconds. It's going through really quickly. I feel like a racehorse commenter. <laughs> and here we go, we've got the Galaxy Tab ahead of the iPad, and the iPad's coming up the rear, and we're going for the final result now, the last hundred meters of the Sun Spider test. This is the benchmark you've been looking for, ladies and gentlemen, with the Cortex core. It's the Sun Spider Test from Samsung Galaxy coming in at. Ah, Come my, on. my timing was never that good. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, seven five. Seven five. So the Galaxy S beats the iPad, beats the Tegra uh, AC100 with Tegra 2 by about 25 percent on the Sun Spider Test. Seven point. 5.2, uh, sorry, 7.52 seconds, That's which is decent. the fastest ARM device we've yes. seen so far. This is the Quadrant Benchmark. So we still this not figured out if this is an ARM Cortex A9 or might be an A8. But let's see. <laughs> that looks very decent. That looks very smooth compared to, to what I saw on the Tegra 2 recently. I think this is going to get turn in a good result. Bench drive result. Want to proceed? Hit yes. Okay. So, Oops. coming in just above the Galaxy S, as expected, just under the Motorola Droid X. Tegra 2 comes in at about 50% more powerful overall on that benchmark. But uh, look at it, it's right up there, just above the Galaxy S, so that's actually not bad at all. And uh, about twice as powerful as the Nexus 1 on that result. So. That's a quadrant result of 1,064.